Hello. Hello. Good evening. Okay, so hello everyone. So here is how you open the the books of Ava and Sally for phonics. Okay, or SpongeBob phonics. So we have the website. We usually have the website. Right? Okay, so I'll share my screen so that I can show you how to um, open the website. So as you notice there, uh, there teachers, I uh, I created a GC, all right, for for SpongeBob Phonics. So we have here the link. Can you see the link there? So we have here the link, which is the website link. Okay. When you click this link, it will open a new tab. So. And it will show a window like this. Okay, you will see the list of the books there from P1, 1, Top Cat, Lesson 1 until the, the bottom of the book. So th there are many books there. Okay, all right. The password for each book are this. The first password or the password 1 is X. MYY09 and password 2 is XMYY. So you can use that one. All right? If the the password one is not okay or it it doesn't work, then you can try password 2 because sometimes they uh, usually uh, change it every 24 hours. So if the password one won't work, then of course you should use password 2. Okay. So, how to open the book? Let's say, for example, you are done with Top Cat Lesson 1. Okay? So, of course, you can proceed here in Top Cat Lesson 2. So, if when you click that one, okay, when you click that one, it will load. Right? Sometimes it's very laggy. Just patiently wait for it, teacher. Okay, and then when it's ready, when it is ready, you can enter the password that we have here. It can be like this password or it can be like this password. Okay? So just patiently wait for the loading. Right. Let's try this one. Let's say that is your lesson for today. So the P1, S2, Pen, Fun, L2. So you just wait for it and input the password. Okay, so as you notice, teacher, um, this book is very laggy. So it will be better if you prepare your book ahead of time so that your book will load and by the time your student enter in the classroom it is ready to view so that's why you have to pull pull up your tools beforehand or ahead before your class All right, so as you notice there, it says enter a password to view the presentation. So let's try the XMYY09. So let's put it right there. Oh, so it says incorrect. Let's try the XMYY. It's not working yet. XMYY09. Okay, so the XMYY09 is the right one. So if you copy and paste the password, it won't work. So make sure you type it manually on your keyboard so that your book will load. So after that loading, of course, you can your book is ready for, for the class. You can share that to your student. So that's all. That's very easy. Okay, so next time, I want you to use the website link and... Choose your book there or the lessons that you can use for your classes. So you have to update also your book so that you will know what will be the next book that you will going to use for the next class.
Okay, so you, the title of the books are here. You can choose the book for your classes. Alright, so I hope this helps a lot to you, teacher. And uh, I will not send the, the book from time to time if you ask the book, okay? So you have to do this in your next classes. Okay, goodbye. Have a great night.